Hello, welcome back to more shiny soda studies or tutorials. So today I came across a little problem. The problem was I had a document with an image in it and the image I needed to use for another project. So how will we get the image from that document? There are various ways to do it but personally the way that I'm going to teach you now is with um, renaming the file extension. Don't worry if you don't know what that is or how to do it, that is what I'll show in this video. The first thing I will be covering is how you can see the file extension if you can't already see it. So for example, right now I will show you the test document that I've made. This part here, text practice is the name of the file and dot docx is the file extension. Now some of you might already see this, other people might not. So if you want to skip ahead to see how you can actually get the image, I will put an annotation in the video and in the description a link to the part where you can see how that is done. So first, how to see the file extension. You would have to go to your control panel and you would have to then click on appearance and personalization. Then you see various options. The one that you need to find is folder options. Click on folder options and this window will pop up. You, you can go away now. There we go. Folder options then you would have to click on the view tab located here view then you might need to scroll down or not but uh, here what you need to look at is hide extensions for known file types if you do not see the file extension name your box will probably be checked you need to uncheck the box so you can see the file extensions so click apply, then OK, and then your file should show the extensions. Now we can get ready to see how you can get the image and stuff like that. So what you need to do, you, and if you're very unsure about, uh, about changing it or whatnot, you can always save a copy and mess around with the copy. So, so you know. So what we need to do is then rename the the extension so you can either double click to slowly double click like there we go or you can right click and click on rename whatever you prefer so we don't need to change the name of the file that's everything before the dot that will not affect the file extension what you need to do is change the extension so change doc x to zip zip press enter and then you'll get a warning if you change a file name extension the file might become unusable are you sure you want to change it yes we want to change it now you can see that i currently have the file open i'll show you this is the file I'll close this. You can then see the image that I want to extract, something that I had made a long time ago to show to show examples of like this tutorial. So we'll close this. Try again. There we go. The file has changed into a zip folder. We'll go into the zip folder. You will see various folders. You'll need to click on Word. Click on Word. Click on Media. And then you see image. And if we open the image, ta da! Oh, <laughs> it kind of cuts off here with the recording, but don't worry. Um, so it should show the image that you have in the document. So that is how you extract, you can extract the image from uh, a doc, a document, Word document, or any other uh, file extension. Just change it to zip. And from within the zip, you can get the file extension. And if you want to 
some something a little extra if you want to unzip your zip files uh, usually you need a program for that like I don't know a window zip or, or the like I'll put a link down below for a place that you can get it for free if you if you if you're not very common with uh, zip files and the like but if you once you have installed winzip that's that's the name winzip then you can say extract uh, files or extract here etc so you can simply extract the files you'll get this thing and then you just click OK and ta-da this is a regular file now so you have a zip file the original zip file unless you change the settings but I like to always copy that just in case something happens and here you have the actual file so in the actual file you will also be able to see the image and the like there you go there's the image I hope you thought that this tutorial was helpful and if so you may let me know you may press the like button you may comment you may do anything if you didn't like it you may also do the opposite of course <laughs> uh, and I will see you hopefully in the next video good night goodbye and see you